and then the anti banner. Uh, we leave that on. We we're kind of okay with that. So, when the file and protection file antivirus enable antivirus on all your files. Again, that's what you want. Again, you can select action to disinfect it, or select uh, action automatically, which means it'll do. It'll just select for you that if it can't, uh, if it can't clean it, it just deletes it. So that's fine to leave. That is as is. So those are the main ones here. Um, system and applications here. We're gonna go back to this because I actually wanted to look at. Um, oops. If you come in here. Enable network attack blocker, which basically means, um, you know, if somebody's going to try to get into your system or something. It's going to ignore. It's going to ignore those requests. So that's okay. You have a gaming profile. Um, what it what it does is kind of really slims down the uh, the amount of resources that Casper C is going to use on the system. So if you are playing games, you can run them as fast as, as possible. Uh, you can change the appearance if you want feedback again you, if you said yes and then you want no you can go into here you can get reports if you want log non-critical events again but if you doing this they actually kind of get large after a while so notification um, you know pop-ups and stuff like that or if you want to get a get, get a mail notification you can't like that um, you know Detection of the following threats and stuff like that. So, and if you want to have any kind of exclusions, uh, malicious groups, malicious tools, auto dialers, adware, stuff like that. Um, you know, you want you want to make sure this is also just all set for it. So, it's all that's it's a really good set of auto default functionality in in this security suite. All right, then you have scan my computer here. You can do a full, quick, or scan just whatever you want here. Uh, the open vulnerability scanner. Uh, we don't have anything in here just because we we don't have anything on this computer. Um, you do have the uh, my update center, which kind of tells you what all it's protecting you from here: suspicious sites, spam, banners, malware, and stuff like that. So it's just um, got a lot of information in here. And we have a Parental controls uh, and the crate rescue disk, which the rescue disk is really kind of cool because it's got a lot, of all the latest definitions for virus and malware and stuff on it. And so if something happens to get through here, what it'll do, what you can do is just boot to the CD and it'll clean it out for you before you ever actually get into Windows, which is great because sometimes if these these malware get into your computer, they're known just to shut these uh, antiviruses off. And it just becomes a giant nightmare to get them out at times. So, so that's um, pretty much a quick overview. Uh, the My Security Zone is really nice. So trusted applications and stuff like that you'll see in there. Um, and then you have the the Safe Run or what's known as the Sandbox. The Sandbox is really cool because it lets you run everything in a virtual environment. So it's basically just kind of like outside of your computer running. So if it comes in, if it gets infected or gets messed up or something like that, it's not going to infect your PC because it says it's just outside of your PC. So, um, ugh, excuse me. A lot of times, you know, this is kind of set for browsers. We have Internet Explorer in here now, uh, but we're actually going to add Firefox too. So click on Add Browse. And I'm going to my computer here. Program files. Those are Firefox. We're going to add that. So and it tells you run application and then save for my double click on it to launch the icon. So we're going to go ahead and click on it. Oh. And what will happen is when it actually launches here. You should see a green haze around the outside of the application to actually indicate it's running in the virtual environment. Let's see if we need one of them to run. This this virtual machine is actually running a little slow lately, so there we go. And you can see again, see the green haze around this. That means we know it's in. It's in the sandbox and it's running outside of the computer. You can actually pretty much add anything you want into this. Um, and like I said, it's really cool because if, if it 
the Internet Explorer becomes infected on the outside, you know, on the Internet, something like that, it's not going to infect your computer. So, as long as you see this green haze around everything, you will, I mean, you're, 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 in, you're actually running in the, in the, uh, in the safe run, so. I don't know if your Wi Firefox isn't showing up here. Let's try clicking on it from there and see what happens here. Oh. Oh, the side advisor, which is really cool. We're going to go ahead and leave that on. So. Alright. So, Alright, what we're going to do now, while we're kind of waiting on this, is we're going to look at the parental controls. And to do that, there we go. I had to go through a setup here. You see Firefox now. Again, green haze all the way around the outside of it, which means it's in the sandbox. Run on the virtual environment. So, again, if it gets infected, it's outside of your computer. It's not going to come in and actually infect your computer. That's one of the really cool security features of this application that we really like. So, all right. So, whoops, we're going to create a new user account here. Create a new account. Which is this guy, Jane. Uh, we're going to make it a limited. Uh, if you have anybody basically under the age of 14, like that, kids, make sure they are a limited user on XP because it's, it's not, when they're a limited user, that means they can't actually, um, they're not going to be able to actually then um, go in and, and download executable files, put programs on the computer because that's where all the hassle becomes. Is when, you know, the more programs you download on your computer, the more chances you're gonna get malware, you're gonna get more spyware, viruses come in and stuff like that. So, you know, if you got a lot of young kids, make them a limited user, which doesn't allow them to run, which is what's known as executable uh, files, which basically are executable files are ones that actually install on your computer. So, it's really pretty good not to, not to let them be administrators, just let them be actually just standard users. Okay, so we click on enable parental controls here. All we did is we went. And we went to file and private data, parental controls, and we hit enable. So then just choose uh, what you have here. You, are you a parent, teenager, or child? We always kind of like the teenager settings because it always seems to be just about right. Uh, sometimes, um, oh, actually I forgot. We got to go to the other profile. Hang on. That's my fault on that one. So we're going to close this guy out. Let me check one thing. I can't remember if it actually lets us add the user from here. Yeah, there we go. It does. Okay, we're going to do this again here. Sorry about that. Going to Files and Private Data, Parental Controls, Enable it, and then you're going to click on Settings. Then go into Teenager, click on Use Profile, then you click Add down here, and you'll see Jane down there. So say My XP Jane, which is what you want, and then obviously that's going to be the profile. So then what you can do is you go into the settings here, you got three options here. You can set time, time periods of when they can browse the internet, so you can uh, click on the red here, which means blocks, so that means from like 9 to, what do we got here, we got 8 to 10.30, they can't go on the internet. You know, so when those time periods comes up, the internet the internet is actually just turned off. And you click on that, and you can actually pull those. You can click on limited daily operation time, which means, you know, if you only want them to be on the internet two hours a day, click this, set that to two hours, and that's all they're going to get. So then you go to restrictions here. This is what we like best about this. Is that it's got a bunch of nice, bunch of nice. Uh, Got a, it's got several really nice defaults, uh, like here, block web addresses by category for pornographic, materials, drugs, violence, explicit language, you know, weapons, gambling, stuff like that, you know, stuff you just don't want your kids to see. So, uh, then you can add web addresses right here. Uh, just simply hit add, type in the URL, and then it'll block them from that site too. Uh, you can put in exclusions like that. Same thing. You have to enter the um, enter the email or not the email, the web address. 
and that's it. And then uh, actually that'll exclude them from this list. Oops. Uh, no, we want to actually hit to keep moving here. Um, so we're gonna hit OK. What you're gonna want to do as a parent, you want to put a password in here. And the reason you want to put a password in here is because if you don't put a password in here, you know your kids can go right into here into the security suite and simply just change their permissions. Uh, so you want to put a password in here, so then they actually have to guess your password to actually modify their settings. So we just made a quick and easy password, and then it, I don't know, ask you to redo it again. So we just put the same one, and then hit OK, and then we hit close. So what we're now going to do is switch over to 